Hey, in this short video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get started with OpenAI in Azure. So I'm going to start by showing you how to create a resource and deploy a model in Azure. And then I will show you how to connect to this model from a Python script. And you can find a link to this Python script in the description of this video. But first, let's get started with deploying a model. So in this video, I'm going to assume that you already have an Azure subscription uh, created. If you haven't done this yet, you can do this right here. And please create it if you haven't created it yet, because you're going to need it in the next step. Then you see here the Azure OpenAI icon. If you don't see it, just search in the search window for OpenAI and then click here on Azure OpenAI. And then the first thing we're going to do is create a new resource. So click here on Create Azure OpenAI. And then as you can see here, you have to select your subscription here. So I'm going to select this one and a resource group, which is this one, Azure One. And then in the next step, we're going to select the region. And if you're living in Europe, I would really recommend um, to select uh, Sweden Central because for some reason, Microsoft is releasing newer models to Sweden and you also get higher rate limits. So just select Sweden Central if you're living in Europe and you don't know what to select. And then we have to provide a name to the resource. So I'm just going to call this one YouTube video example like this. And uh, we can only select one pricing tier at this moment, which is standard as zero and then click on next. Now here you can select the networks that should have access to the service. So I'm just gonna leave it on all networks. Click on next. Here you can provide tags. I'm just gonna skip this tag. And then we can create the resource right here. Now it will take a few seconds to deploy this uh, resource. And as soon as the resource has been created, you can click here and go to resource. And now you can click here on endpoints and you will see the endpoints that you can use. So we can use this endpoint for now, then navigate to my .env file and I'm just gonna copy it right here. And if you want to use the same script, you can download the script from a website. Uh, you can find the link to this website in the description of this video. And this is where you can find the uh, libraries that you have to install in order to run the script. The content of the .env file, you just have to make sure that you provide your own endpoint API key and the name of your model here. And that this is the script that I'm later going to demo in this tutorial. Then back to Azure, and you can also find your API key here. And you can just copy this key. You only need one of the two. And you can then paste this API key right here. Now I'm just going to navigate to the previous page and then you see here explore and deploy and this is where we can actually deploy OpenAI models. And then make sure that you see the current resource here. Now this is where you can find all the models uh, that you are able to deploy. Then you find here the playgrounds. So in the playgrounds you can just play around with the models uh, but before you can use this you need the deployment of a model. And then you see here are tools where you can for example fine tune models. Then we are going to navigate to deployments and that's where we're going to deploy a new model. So I'm just going to click here on deploy model and we're going to deploy a base model. But if you want to fine tune a model later, you can do that right here. So click here on deploy base model. And the model that I'm going to show in this tutorial is GPT 4.0. So I'm going to click on this model and then click on confirm. And I see here the deployment name. So you can just copy this name and you can paste it here in the .env file. And then I'm going to choose here for global standard. And this uh, deployment type is only available if you have chosen the Sweden region in Europe. I think for US regions, you can always select it. And then you can click here on customize. And again, make sure that you still see the same resource here. I'm going to click on customize. And then you can see here the tokens per minute limit rate. And normally you want to increase this as much as possible. Then you see here content filter. This is of course the content filter. And what is really important is that you um, select the model version and that you then take the latest uh, version of this model. In this case, that's 2024-0806, because then you can also use the latest capabilities. So I'm going to select this one and then click on deploy. Then if you haven't copied these parameters yet, you can find here the name of the model, which is GPT-40. And this is where you can find the endpoint, but the endpoint is only the first part. So this part, I can copy them again to the .env file. And now you should be able to run the script. So let's try that out. Now it takes Azure a few minutes in order to deploy this model. So in case you get a 401 error, just wait a few minutes, try it again, and you will see that your script will be working as expected.